what's good? Welcome back. Today I talk about the card I despise the most out of Obsidian Flames. What do I like about this card? Absolutely nothing, but it is so damn good I couldn't skip it. Oh, so we're gonna take the Hater's Guide because I do not like this card whatsoever. What do you need to know? Glamora is a 270 hit point fighting Pokemon. Gives up two prizes. All right, so we've got terrific typing. We've got some decent sized bulk. Uh, it has a very interesting Ascension Glimmit from Paldea Evolved, so you can jump into this bad boy right away. But what are we jumping into? So the ability, Dust Field. As long as this Pokemon's in the active spot, your opponent can't have more than three bench Pokemon. If they have four bench Pokemon or more, they have to discard until they have three. Right now, before we even look at that attack, Avery, but it's a constant effect. I had to play as a once per turn supporter. So that's very, very annoying. Restricting your bench size is something I absolutely despise and cannot stand because cards in the past like Sudowoodo from Guardians Rising forced your opponent down to four benched Pokemon. So that wasn't too bad. We also have Collapse Stadium in format that mimics that. Lamora drops it to three, which is hateful and really disrupt them and control the game state without even doing anything. What's the like? Such a bad card. Are we kidding? Then of course, the card that it reminded me the most of was Parallel City. So it was a stadium card. You could point it in either way. And if you point it at your opponent, they get stuck with three uh, bench. It's easier to bump than, say, this ability. So Glamour is going to be a pain in my ass, and it's going to be a pain in your ass because it has a good typing, a good amount of bulk, a phenomenal ability, and a decent low-maintenance attack. So Poisonous Gem does 140 and Poison the Pokemon. Not only are they stuck with limited resources, they are also trying to fight off this good Pokemon. You needed a visual demonstration. We've got this here. So Mew just won the World Championships, which is almost kind of fitting. And it likes to play a full board because it wants to be drawing a ton of cards. Gardevoir plays similarly, chops those down. So all of a sudden we're forcing Mew down to a smaller hand. We're forcing them to throw stuff away. They are generally gonna throw away the Meloetta and it's gonna make it even harder to deal with. We're not weak to Mew, so we don't care. World Champion, we don't care. You thought there was just one way to play, one way to prepare for? Uh-uh. We've got option one, the new cards. The most annoying one, in my opinion, is Path to the Peak. But Brandon, that counters our ability. The new Lunatone on screen says if you have both Lunatone and Soul Rock in play, ignore stadiums done to your Pokemon. So you can apply Bench Lock, you can apply Ability Lock, and you can apply a solid 140. That is annoying, and that is very, very disgusting. I might lean towards that one because if you're gonna go full troll, you might as well go all the way in. And option two, which I'm seeing play, which gives you a little more attacking presence and more chances to uptrade. Palkia and Greninja. You might as well slap that shit on everything at this point. Subspace well for two, just 260, so you can hit a little higher. Field cards, draw cards, Moonlight Shuriken, you can hit two things for 90. Star Portal again is a broken ability. So you have two flavors of which way you're gonna play this nightmare of a card. And I still don't like this card. So option one, this is the one that if you put a gun to my head and said, Brandon, which one are you playing? This is probably it. We've got our Ascension Glimits, how they evolve, so we can literally, going second, use the attack and cheat up our Glamora and make them discard. We have a 2-2 Rapid Strike Urshifu. Gale Thrust for one energy, just 150. However, it's the second attack, G-Max Rapid Flow. I think this card is the best designed card out of the Sword Shield block but we're gonna leave that one. Discard all energy attached to it and do 120 to two different targets. That also lets us uptrade. It lets us hit with a very large body and it can be just a pain in the behind to deal with. So we can really just dismantle their board. So when they do finally get the ability to play more Pokemon, we're tearing them off the bench. Sometimes they have to discard Manaphy with Glamora and then we just slap in the Urshifu and take, take in. But Barrel, because I think that's the best draw engine we're gonna have going forward. And I think it just seamlessly fits in. The two to Soul Rock Lunatone. Manaphy, Kasui and Sneasler to do a little extra chip damage. Iono, boss, your supporter line is pretty much standard here. One Raihan for comeback play in case something gets knocked out. One Poppy in case we want to move energy around the board. So let's say a Glamour is damaged. We don't want to lose those energies, so we typically will just move them off something else and go that way. Pickaxe, big fan of the new town store to let us search for our tool cards, be it four seal stone, which grabs anything, or rocky chest plate, which makes Glamour a 300 hit point Pokemon. So Giratina does not go through it. Giratina V-Star is one of the good Arceus variants that will stick around. So we hit the Arceus for weakness and Giratina cannot respond with the Rocky chest plate in play. I'm sure there's other math I'm forgetting, but of course just bump. So if you're not a fan of this flavor or you want to see what's behind door number two, well, we've got the Palkia blend. So this one here is kind of piggybacking off of the Tinglu build where they ran Palkia Tinglu. 
So we're running 3-3 three, three of the Glamora, 2-2 two, two of the Palkia, so we have two different flavors to play. We can end our turn with a Coridon going first, or we can end our turn with Ascension Glimmet going second. So we have options, walk ability just to draw, dig through the deck, Manaphy. I put that one in there because the Glimmets are very frail. Uh, Greninja, of course, because it's just very, very good. Borderline is pretty pretty cleaned up. Uh, we are playing some energy search because our, we are splitting our energy line up. We want to be able to search them, so it's almost like having three outs to them. Play one town store. I do think it's worthwhile being able to grab the choice belt. Choice belt, Lamora 170, or choice belt full benches on Polkia gets the Giratina V-Star, the Arceus V-Star, if they don't have the V-Guard energy. So this is the other way, you want to be a little more aggressive, I totally get it, and Lost City in case we have to deal with their mana fees or any problem cards, so we'll make them discard stuff and then we'll send whatever they left on the board to the Lost Zone. So my closing thoughts about this damn card. Do I recommend buying it? If you like winning, yeah. If you like having fun, hmm, maybe, depends. It's a phenomenal ability, so this ability will always, always, always be good because many decks, Gardevoir, Mew, the new Charizard, uh, Lost Box, not so much, but any decks in the future like to have wide boards. It's just the nature of the game. As we're going to a setup format, that ability is going to be annoying and you're going to have to deal with it, so why not play it? Terrific typing. Fighting has always been one of the best or the best typings in the game, so you're a pain in the ass in two ways. It is versatile, as we've illustrated with the Palkia build and the Urshifu build. Because it's such a cheap attacker, it can pretty much slot in with whatever you're thinking. If there was a third idea that came to your mind as you were looking at those two and I didn't mention it, by all means, I would happily like to hear it down in the comments below. And of course, it's future-proof. That ability will never not be bad. Typically, you want to fill out your bench so you can properly play the game. The more taking that from them, it's almost like a pseudo-control archetype, but it applies a ridiculous amount of pressure. So if you enjoy the content, let me know how it goes for you. Am I going to showcase any gameplay? No! God, please, no! 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 Uh, I couldn't decide which one I wanted to run. Both of them were very effective. So take your pick. Let me know how it fares for you. And if you see me in a tournament, please don't be playing Glamora. And until next time, take care.